every mantra has a certain rishi a mantra drishta who has seen and held the form inherent to that mantra within his mind when a description of that form comes to finally be articulated first mentally and then eventually by the organs of speech it will bring a mental photo of that form at will this may not happen immediately but certainly after some years of practice you will find that this is indeed the case usually every dhyana mantra is a very specific invocation of a deity attached to every dhyana is a very specific mantra of a deity the mantra hides that particular resonating frequency which eventually produces the form of that devata which you mentally just thought about which you mentally just conceptualized and where is that resonating form of that devata being produced when the mantra is recited that vibration possessed by that particular mantra forms in the immediate environment in which the mantra is being recited and most crucially and most importantly it also forms within the physical mental and ethereal body of that person people do have a mind and there are thoughts associated with that mind but unfortunately the mind of most people tends to be in some kind of chaotic thought or maybe there is some kind of misery or maybe a long sadness you see they've been poisoned by the world in which we live these chaotic and misery filled thoughts arise as mighty waves within the ocean of the mind and eventually if they keep crashing into the rocks of your mental faculties they will eventually damage you sometimes temporarily and sometimes more permanent damage may result the great masters say that the mind is not the same as the thoughts but how does one experience that how does one get to that state one way is to replace your negative emotion filled thoughts with a more positive form but you may actually find this very difficult now the ancient masters in india would have known of this and therefore we come to mantras the vibrations of a mantra begin to produce the form of that devata in the mind body and the environment of the mantra reciter which eventually produces a gradual but definite change in the mental internal and external state of that person why why ganesha though why ganesha some people today cannot imagine that this peculiar external form of ganesh as being divine the problem is that the external form actually is very symbolic for example the head of an elephant was given only after the original head had been destroyed this points to the ability of transformation that ganesh bestows from limited human to the unlimited divine the elephant symbolizes tremendous intelligence and an ability to navigate through the sea of obstacles which most people living today invariably find themselves in the janeu or the sacred thread usually depicted as a snake on the body of ganesh symbolizes the root power of transformation called the kundalini which cannot be safely awakened without the intelligent guidance of ganesh the word gana means indriya so ganesh is the lord of the indriyas so ganesh is he who guards your indriyas your senses thus helping your mind recover from the poison that it is imbibed from this world of ours gana could also mean any one of the entities which belong to the adrishya jagat a sanskrit word for the invisible world or the world which is 
not normally visible to your physical eyes and of course ganesh in his form as vinayak is the lord and master of the ganas and stops these negative entities from interfering with whatever work you wish to perform ganesh also rules the earth element of the body and provides a certain stability lastly ganesh also provides mundane benefit in additional to any spiritual merit which you might hope to get since most people are not really interested in the divine this is very very useful for students ganesh mantras give an ability to solve complex problems to orators it bestows speech to artists it gives art so here is a remedy for all those who wish to bring ganesh into their lives now i am going to give you a mantra and you can use this mantra as you wish the mantra is which i'm sure those of you who are indian would have heard vakratunda mahakaya koti surya samaprabha nirvignam kuru me deva sarva karyeshu sarvada this mantra can be recited the same time and place for 11 days 21 days 27 days or 40 days or longer as you wish sitting on a red or yellow blanket facing the east either 108 times 308 times 508 times or 1008 times or more as you wish every day keeping brahmacharya of course after the 11 or 21 days or whatever you have decided are over please perform a fire ritual to ganesha using our free manual at www.vedicastrologer.org alternatively you can recite any one of the stotras of ganesha either the sankata nashana stotra for example or the ganesh atharva shirsha and this can be recited 11 times daily for 11 days or longer or 21 times daily for 11 days or 21 times daily for 21 days you decide what you want to do and after the last day's recitation you can offer this stotra 11 or 21 times into the fire using the free manual again given at www.vedicastrologer.org jai ganesh and thanks for listening